hip hop is sat at the forefront of the next creative trend. It always starts within this culture. My first hip hop memory, I would say driving to school with my mom and my sister listening to Speaker Box The Love Below. It's everlasting, not clashing, not at all. But see, my went to do a little acting. That album came out in like 2003. I was three years old when that album came out. But I remember just asking my mom to play ghetto music over and over and over again because the feeling of that bass in my mom's car like vibrated my skull. I just couldn't help but like dance and grew, it, even thinking about it, it, it's just such a fun song. That's one of my favorite albums. Well, I think that was one of my first moments, really loving hip hop and garnering a respect of like, this requires a sick level of creativity and rhythmic understanding. Just so much of what makes hip hop hip hop was something that it just really, really attracted me and, and got me hooked and I've been listening ever since. As a black person, I find that hip hop is so ingrained in my culture that it, it's hard to not have a relationship with hip hop and not understand that like a lot of pop culture today is inspired by hip hop of back in the day. The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, I think simply because that's a great starter album for somebody who may think that hip hop is too fill in the blank here. Um, but The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, just because there are so many staples on that album that people who may not have considered themselves to be a fan of hip hop, they know the songs on that album. I would say my favorite hip hop video right now, I don't know if it counts as hip hop, but there were so many hip hop legends in the video. Uh, Childish Gambino's video for Feels Like Summer. On a day like this day, it feel like summer. That song, the song itself is not very traditionally hip hop. And I use traditionally in quotes because tradition is something that it depends on who you're speaking to. But uh, I would say just the animated quality of it was so interesting and also how uh, Donald Glover found a way to merge so many titans in the industry. Nicki's in there, uh, Common's in there, Lil Wayne's in there, Drake is in there, J. Cole is in there, Kendrick's in there. Like, I, I, I just, I, anyone you could think of was probably featured in that video. If not directly their likeness, then a nod to one of their previous works. My favorite rapper right now is probably Doja Cat. I adore her. I think she is a brilliant creative. I, I, I think one of my favorite things about hip hop as a genre was just how hip hop has sat at the forefront of the next creative trend. It always starts within this culture. And so Doja, I think, is someone who is sitting at the cutting edge of creativity, and she's one of my favorite rappers, truly of all time. 